Habitat E15, a vertical co-dwelling community. The ecological definition of community is a group of plants and living organisms interacting with one another in a specific region under relatively similar environmental conditions. Urban design concerns the arrangement, appearance and functionality of towns and cities and in particular the shaping and uses of urban public space. Architecture is art and science of designing and erecting buildings. Whether building vertically or horizontally, it is essential for these three elements to work harmoniously. London is a cosmopolitan capital city with a growing population, home to creative ideas and radical urban transformations throughout history. Our unique urban design architectural solution creates an ecological community that is sensitive to the native landscape and heritage, enables growth and integrates well into existing community. This will be an international example of an ecological design approach to vertical communities. Situated in London's East End, Lower Lee Valley has a distinctly industrial heritage and is the birthplace of many companies including Reuters. Innovations such as early designs for the monorail were invented here. Today, Lower Lee Valley's place identity does not reflect this prestigious past. It is now a predominantly polluted and derelict site and is rated as one of the most deprived communities in the country. Lower Lee Valley is an important strategic location for regeneration of London's East End. It has been selected as the host site of the London Olympics in 2012 which will be an important catalyst for urban renewal. The River Valley is currently polluted and ecologically compromised. The Olympic Regeneration Strategy for this site envisages the restoration of environmental health through creation of large green spaces and native biohabitat. The River Valley is currently polluted and ecologically compromised. The Olympic Regeneration Strategy for this site envisages the restoration of environmental health through creation of large green spaces and native biohabitat. The needs of this impoverished community are great and varied. A vertical community of mixed use would contribute well to this ambitious regeneration scheme. These habitats include river valley meadows and wetlands. It is these ecological conditions that our design looks to support, to integrate the vertical community harmoniously with the natural surroundings. The site possesses connections via the train station and high street, which is intended to become a community centre post-regeneration. Existing uses include residential, commercial and some retail. Though there is a neighbourhood present, the area functions as an industrial landscape with a bisecting highway. In the location of our vertical community, semi-detached homes provide low-rise housing and two tower blocks provide space for commercial use. The historic Abbey Mills pumping station is located on this site and the Lower Lee Valley Park forms the southern edge, bound by the Lee River. This site has restraints. It takes the form of an island, cut off by watercourses, a wide highway and to the east it is disconnected due to an industrial zone. The existing community infrastructure of Stratford forms a foundation for the vertical community. Music 
In our design, Habitat E15, we try to retain the urban fabric and characteristics of the valley, rather than introducing contemporary landscaping and architecture, which is out of context and interrupts the natural and cultural landscape. This is achieved through our sensitive design approach of the footprint at ground level, whereby we have retained and enhanced the existing perimeter block, introducing new uses and improved public-private interface. At ground level, Habitat E15 integrates well into the existing cultural landscape, which assists in preserving the heritage, whilst the layers above create place identity that orients towards a positive future. The base of the building is elevated five floors above the ground. We have lightened the building footprint to free space for public use and access, increasing permeability. In this form, it contributes to the wider community in which it resides, rather than creating physical barrier or another private ground floor. This also enables free pedestrian flow for use of the new tube station. However, we notice in a tall building that designers simplify its structure into a clean aesthetic or a homogenous skin. This approach lacks the variety found in vibrant neighbourhoods. These structures become a landmark but so far have not supported communities. We challenge this traditional approach. As previously mentioned, we have identified existing uses in the site, which include some retail, housing and commercial space. The existing uses are insufficient for the needs of a diverse and predominantly low-income community. In order to transform this into a sustainable, vibrant community, we will incorporate the existing whilst adding new uses such as education facilities and health clinics that will support the upward mobility of the community.